and, yeah. and your Knicks. How are you feeling about them? How far can they go this season? Yeah. You know, I'm feeling pretty good about my Knicks. Um, really? If I, if I, I am. I am. If I, you know why? Because I, I'm going to. I'm going to go at it. I'm going to go at it as an over or under situation. Thirty-five wins this season, over or under. What do you think? Under. I'm going over. You're going over. I'm going over. Over because 35? I, I, you know why? I'm going to say the Knicks this year, we go as Porzingis goes. Mm hmm. Because. Well, that's a mouthful. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. and, and, and you just said over 35 <laughs> and yeah. credited it to Porzingis? Yeah. Why don't you just turn in your basketball card Absolutely. right now? Absolutely. I mean, clear. What, Listen, who, who, when we win 36 games, I'm coming who back. You okay. All. When we win 36 who games, I'm coming back to see you. I mean, I want to know what member, I want to know what member of the New York Knicks paid you off right Listen, now. We're that well make on no our sense. way. Poor we, Zingis, many, when we, you didn't even say Carmelo. Hold on, hold on. You didn't even say Carmelo. You didn't even say Carmelo. You said yes. Poor Zingis? Yes. I'm going to tell, tell you why. What because is the Mello's matter gonna with you? Because Melo's going to be Melo. Melo's going to be Melo. We know what Melo's going to do. Melo's going to come out and he's going to score that basketball. Poor Zingis can stretch the floor. He can, <laughs> he can bring that 4-5 out to 15 feet to the three-point line, which, which leaves Lopez room to do what he does down Lopez. here. Lopez? Yeah. So now you bring Lopez, Lopez in this is not a bad player. Really? Are you an Knicks fan or not, man? I, what is going on here, Stephen A? I, I thought you were going to be on my side with this one. <laughs> I'm a truth teller. I'm Me a truth too. teller. Yeah, okay. I think Porzingis, I think uh, evidently not. <laughs> Here's the deal. I think that Porzingis, I think that Porzingis has an upside. Yeah. I think that in a couple of years, he's going to be rich. He's averaging 11 points already. I think that he'll be fine, and he has and some He's developing problems. earlier. I think, well, I think, I think he's developing Robin earlier. Lopez, uh, I had a schedule. Robin Lopez, Robin Lopez is a journeyman center. He's seven feet and can't stay in one place. That should tell you something. <laughs> he's not a scrub, but he's yeah. not a difference maker. They he's are not a difference maker. I, I, the, I didn't say he was a difference maker. Hold I didn't on. say that. Hold on now. Hold on. I give the Knicks some love from the perspective they are looking better. They're Absolutely. playing harder and feistier. Yes. They deserve a lot of credit for that. But for you to sit up here Absolutely. and act like Porzingis is going Absolutely. to make that kind of a difference. From 17 wins, That's right. you're talking about they're going to win plus 35? That's right. What's the matter with you? You heard it here first, baby. Right here on first take. Uh, the Knicks win over 35 games this season. You know what? I'm with Ja on this one mm. because... No. That they are uh, they are respectable and they are surprising. They want they out are. Washington. They are surprising. They are. And you know what? And the East is terrible. Hey, this kid Porzingis, he's got one thing going for him. He is tall. I mean, yes. he is seriously tall yes. and fairly agile. Yes. Fairly agile, and he can shoot and it a can little shoot. bit. He can okay, shoot. and he nearly got his neck broken by when Melo fell on him the other night. I hope he, <laughs> he gets better after that. But did you but, see the hey. did you see the putback? Hey. Yeah. Did you see the putback? <laughs> That's what I'm looking at. I, he I, that's, he that's, is a rare species. That's how I'm basketball, I, I, man. Jairo, uh, Jairo, with all due respect, <laughs> when you when when you're seven feet three, <laughs> with a wings with the wingspan like that, he doesn't even have to, to put jump back, right? to dunk. <laughs> no. So 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 what 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 do you want a cookie? Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean that, that that that's like that that that's like sitting there and giving me credit no, let me uh, tell you. for 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 for, touch, for touching my ceiling in in my crib. No, that, I mean that, it ain't I'm that tell damn hard. That's fearlessness on the glass. That's what that is. Mm -hmm. That's what that is, man. Yep. And he's 19. He's a kid. Was he 19, 20? He's a kid. Yeah. yeah. And he's developing skip rule. earlier than we skip thought. rule. That's what I'm gonna tell you. All <laughs> objectivity <laughs> out of the window. Skip rule, not jaw rule. Skip rule. Skip rule. That's what I'm gonna call right. you. That's I mean, right. it's we know this show is all about skip. Rules, right? Uh, the rules, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank that you. is true. I know that. Yep, yep, I wouldn't know yep. that. I wouldn't know that. Yeah. You rule when I want you to. <laughs> yeah. So, best teams in the NBA right now are? Golden State. <laughs> um, and on the other side, Cavaliers. Golden State, Cavs. I like your Spurs. I, I, I like your Spurs to go to the championship this year. Do you? Yeah. It, they 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 got a they got a great addition with with uh, oh, Aldridge, Marcus. Man. Oh, he's been good. Oof. Yeah, and listen, Oof. Kawhi did do a number on Melo the other night because he does a number on a whole lot of dudes. Yeah, I got a I got a good team over there yep. and, and a great organization. That that's important too. It's like you know it's like New England. 
Yeah. When you have a great team and a great organization, is it, it, it makes for championship teams. And and as you see, they 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 win a lot. And what do you think of the Thunder so far? Stephen A. has Westbrook winning the MVP. I love OKC. This year. It, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna toss up between uh, Westbrook and 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 Steph. And Steph. Yeah. Oh. Steph is he looks ridiculous. He's like the video game mm -hmm. in real life. So he's like he's crazy. Like he's. Yep. You can't do nothing with Steph. Stephen A. What do you think about your pick so far? Of, Westbrook for MVP. Well, I still, listen, the only person that's getting in his way at this moment in time is Steph Curry, and yeah. we understand why. Steph Curry's just on another level, but it's a long season, and, and Russell Westbrook is a pit bull. And oh, yeah. I look at him, and I think he's coming. And I, I don't think that it was far beyond the pale for me to pick Russell Westbrook as my league MVP winner for this upcoming season. Because yeah. I think that despite the greatness of Kevin Durant, which will shine, and, and he's shown, and he's definitely shown it thus far in this early part of the season, Season, I think from a longevity perspective, I think Russell Westbrook will be right there with Steph Curry, and we will see what happens from there. Mm. Absolutely. You know, the one person who's standing in Russell Westbrook's way for MVP is still Kevin Durant. I'm sorry because they, they still they are the two most explosive players to me, other than Steph, in the league, and they happen to be on the same team. And then at Houston the other night, late. They degenerated back into that. Is it your turn or my turn? Are you going to shoot a three? Or am I going to shoot a three? Yeah. And it's hard because yeah. they're, both they're both superstars. Good. You know, this is the craziest thing about this conversation right here is that LeBron wasn't mentioned mm. Mm -hmm. for the first time in probably ten well, seasons. Well, <laughs> Stephen A. broached the question yesterday: Is Steph now the best player in the whole league, including LeBron? Absolutely. Wow. Well, that's absolutely. I would give Steph. Well, because I, would I, give I that just to Steph. I look at LeBron. LeBron is LeBron is more complete on both ends of the floor because Steph can't do defensively. Right, right. What right. LeBron can do defensively, and LeBron is a, mocha, a locomotive coming at you. His physicality and his physical prowess usually gives him obviously a decisive advantage. But he can't shoot from the perimeter like Steph Curry. He can't shoot free throws like Steph Curry. He can't shoot threes like Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. And the offensive weapon and repertoire that Steph Curry yeah. has at his disposal right now. He and can't how put boys on skates that is. <laughs> like mm -hmm. Steph Curry. I, I just, he's one of those dudes. <laughs> right now, I, I just think that Steph Curry belongs in the conversation as clearly one of the top two players in mm. all of the NBA Absolutely. in the world. He's that gifted. Yeah. He's that gifted. As much as I love Steph Curry, love that, that he got drafted as high as he did, I would have taken him number one in that draft. Absolutely. But I can't believe we're having this discussion about this skinny little kid from Davidson. You know, mm -hmm. that, that, that skinny little kid yeah. from Davidson is now the best player yeah. in pro basketball? Yeah. Better than and LeBron James? And let me tell you James? something, yeah. Skip. Skip, he's, gonna, he's going to change... The he's going to change the way NBA plays basketball moving forward because when you can find somebody that can shoot like that, mm -hmm. I mean, it's just the way the game is played and how it's going away from the physicality of it all, the bad boy Pistons, then the Knicks with Anthony Mason, God rest his soul, the Patrick Ewans mm -hmm. of the world, the Charles Oakleys of the world, people like that. Because it's gotten away from that and it's a softer game where you got stretch fours and stretch fives and you're looking at big boys play the perimeter and all of this stuff. They want shooters. Mm -hmm. And there is no shooter mm -hmm. in NBA history mm -hmm. better than this bro young brother mm -hmm. that we're watching right yeah. now. Steph Curry is the best shooter I have ever mm. seen. I agree. And you're going to see teams looking for that more and more. If you can shoot the basketball, teams are going to want you on more than ever yeah. before. Mm -hmm. He's so fun to watch. We'll see your Knicks tonight. Porzingis oh, and Melo, they're going to be at the Cavs, and I have good news for you <laughs> why we're going to go up two in the division. This just in, Tom Coughlin said Jason Pierre-Paul will practice this week with the defense. Oh, it's over. And could make That's his it. season debut in Tampa Bay. Call off the Don't rest hate. of the year. See that? Call it off. The see division that? belongs. Darryl, thank you so we much for being here. This is now, so much baby. fun. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you after the Knicks win 35, right? Absolutely. All right. <laughs> up next, Titans coach Ken Wisenhut is fired. Was Marcus Mariota's health a factor? We'll get into that after the break.